Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets end of day for Monday's trading session, the 11th of July 2016. Okay, in terms of the markets themselves, uh, another uh, impressive day on the markets, certainly pushing to potential new highs on the S&P 500. The Dow uh, certainly pushing higher as well, along with the Nasdaq, given the fact that GoPro is certainly up by 12% today. FTSE up by 1.4%, the German DAX up by 2%, the CAC up by 1.7%, and the Euro stocks equally. In terms of the markets themselves, commodities still remain weak, copper remains weak, oil is back up $44. Again, on the back of stronger rig uh, numbers on Friday and the uh, news flow today in terms of uh, global growth concerns. So it certainly seems that commodities certainly remain weak. Uh, Aussie and Kiwi remain weak. The only uh, asset class that certainly is uh, moving higher is equities on the back of this potential QE from Japan. So Japanese QE is certainly helping uh, European indices today, although initially the European indices certainly sold into the weakness until we had this news with regards to Theresa May certainly being uh, sworn in in terms of the uh, uh, the PM or next potential Prime Minister and the leader of Conservative Party, and that certainly has triggered a short squeeze. In terms of economic data, over the weekend you had weaker Chinese inflation number, you had uh, Japanese machine orders coming in, coming in on the weaker side, but that was negated by the talk of potential QE with Mr Abe's government obviously uh, gaining uh, ground and uh, him getting authorization for his uh, potential policies. In terms of the markets, you have industrial output from Italy certainly coming on the weaker side. Housing, housing starts from Canada on the strong side and labour market conditions certainly coming in negative as well. So again, commodities, currencies certainly weak, Aussie, Kiwi weak, but we have the uh, yeah, indices certainly pushing high on the back of this potential Kool-Aid trade. Okay. In terms of the uh, uh, setup, let's have a look now. Let's bring up the German DAX first of all. Daily chart the German DAX is into horizontal resistance. If you go to a 60 minute chart, you're certainly into resistance. That topping tail certainly failed to hold, and uh, we certainly sold off toward, well, certainly bought, um, moved higher towards the close. Okay, so certainly an impressive thrust towards the close, especially in the German DAX. You have an unfilled gap left behind. Previous resistance will now equal support, and we'll see how the markets react. This diagonal trend line was expected to break down once we broke below it, but that certainly hasn't occurred. Okay, now in terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you. The daily chart first and foremost. The daily chart of the French CAC at the moment, you certainly close the gap today, but we certainly push higher than that gap. Uh, the next potential resistance, if we do continue to push higher, is seen at uh, 4290. We're currently trading on the French CAC at 4270, so watch out for that zone. 60 minute chart at the moment you're coming, coming into potential double top on uh, the 4290 zone 4290 resistance certainly being the cap there okay in terms of the actual market itself 10 minute chart we are uh, we failed to hold double top certainly have pushed higher now so it'll be interesting to see how the markets unfold you do have an unfilled gap be left behind at 490 Okay, in terms of the FTSE 100 at the moment, you're still making higher highs and higher lows on the 10 minute chart. 60 minute chart, certainly going into potential pivot R3 resistance, which is at 6720. Given the uh, weakness in oil, uh, one of the reasons why I'm actually bearish on the FTSE, I'm short FTSE 6681, stop loss at 6712. Okay, one of the reasons why I'm short is because of oil. If you bring up the chart of oil, you can see it's languishing at the lows. Okay, so certainly very bearish certainly looking for a potential move lower there okay so very important to uh, look at your other alternative variables as well 10 minute chart at the moment still making higher highs and higher lows for okay in terms of the price action 60 minute chart let's bring the daily chart daily chart is into that previous resistance equals support so or previous support equals resistance so this level here at 6690 certainly is quite important quite crucial okay and also is corroborated by the weekly chart as well so you're into that key zone of resistance on the weekly chart as well so certainly looking for the markets to move down especially given the fact that you are seeing a seeing weakness in the chart of the oil uh, price okay copper as well certainly remains weak as uh, as well you have had multiple you know, bearish reports on the FTSE 100 for example UK corporate ratings under under threat apparently UK visa spending below to a 21 month low UK output and optimism at a three-year low okay HSBC warns with regards to potential UK growth China world trade, certainly Chinese comments from the regards to world trade certainly remains grim. 
Japanese machine orders which I've talked about political uncertainty yes that that factor has been alleviated though but the other factor hasn't okay so again those are two factors so FTSE 100 certainly into this zone at 6690 looking for resistance if that goes then you have 6750 uh, and you have 6800 potentially opening up as well as the next levels of resistance so keep an eye on those okay folks okay so I think that's a, a wrap just before I do let's quickly begin the euro stocks I haven't brought that up for you Bring up the chart euro stocks go to a daily chart first and foremost daily chart euro stocks you can see you're into horizontal resistance or previous support equals resistance at 2890 60 minute chart you have a topping tail and then you have a resistance at 2890 so again watch out for that zone the 10 minute chart you are making higher highs at the moment okay you are making higher highs but you do have resistance at 2890 so watch out for 2890 and looking to potentially break down so again impressive for us so far equity is certainly gaining okay uh, but uh, commodities certainly remain weak. Aussie Kiwi certainly remain weak. Economic data overall certainly remains weak. Brexit concerns certainly being ignored at present. And the market short squeezing in the back of this Japanese QE. It is to a large extent all baked into the cake now. I'll bring up the chart on the NASDAQ. You can... <coughs> You can see in the daily chart you're into uh, horizontal resistance here now at 4570 region okay impressive i didn't expect it to go that high certainly expected gap fill to hold at 4540 zone okay so again looking at that zone for key resistance FTSE 100 again is the key one keep an eye on the FTSE certainly looking for further weakness there as well okay i think that's a summation now in terms of the um, uh, european markets certainly looking at potential resistance on the markets if if we start to move higher then the german dax really will be the leader and it will be attempt to close the gap above at 10,200, which i can't see go or can't envisage at present given the uh, bearish arguments for the downside okay and that's not certainly uh, going to call it a day now and uh, wish you all the best for the rest of the trading day cool.